Okay, we are on the south side of the home. This is the electric meter, and the electric meter box is pulling away from the house, away from the structure. It is, and the bottom of the box is all messed up right here. You think water can get up in there, and the way that's pulling away? I do. So it's not properly secured to the structure, and it's not properly sealed on three sides, below grade. Another thing I'm having trouble with is finding grounding and bonding. Coming in the south side of the garage. Moving on in here, we've got a square D panel. The manufacturer's label is missing, so this panel has become obsolete. This panel is not properly labeled. It's supposed to be labeled so that you can identify things. And it's also supposed to be, you know, it's not supposed to be handwritten like that. So. Okay, we shouldn't have more than an eighth of an inch gap between the drywall and our box. We should have all six screws. We've only got five. We shouldn't have unprotected conductors entering the cabinet like this. We shouldn't have bundling like this. Okay, so we got bundling. We should have protective boots over both of these, L1 and L2. And these are undersized. This is 200 amp service. Okay. Coming down here, this is probably for the condensing unit, judging by the white wire, probably for the condensing unit. It's 50 amp. The condensing unit is rated for 35 amps. Well, we've got a 60 amp that goes down to here, so we can just like leave that off. So we got 50, 30, and 50. 30 usually goes, okay, to the clothes dryer. And 50 usually goes to the oven. The furnace is on a 110 down here somewhere. So that is the condensing unit. It is overfused. It's possible it's underfused. Take your pick. It's impossible for it to be properly fused. We shouldn't have debris in the cabinet. We should not have white hots. Let's see if I can get my flashlight out here. Johnny on the spot. And See where you got three ground wires in there? You're supposed to, you can put two ground wires on one screw. You shouldn't put three ground wires on one screw. And then we come down here on our neutrals, the white wires, you got three on one screw. How about that? You got two on one screw. You're not supposed to have as many as two. It should only be a single one. So we got double lug neutrals, triple lug grounds, white hots, debris in cabinet. We're missing our covers. Our entrance cables are too small. We've got a gap larger than an eighth of an inch at the top. We've got unprotected conductors entering. We've got bundling over here. And bundling, I get that. You know, people are, you know, it's very common. Even my reference is somewhat apologetic, and I hate apologizing for my work. But it's going to be hard to find a, a home of this vintage that's not, that's not bundled. Um, wires are not supposed to be touching the cabinet cover.